Hey what's up guys it's Daniel here welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing four different crypto cards and going over some of the benefits that they have. So if you find this video helpful I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and also if you'd like to see more content like this please consider subscribing as I post new videos each day about personal finance, day trading and general news. So with cryptocurrencies becoming more and more popular and large companies such as Tesla, Square and MicroStrategy investing hundreds of millions if not billions of dollars into crypto the idea of having payment cards that can utilize crypto for everyday use only makes sense. Some of the benefits that crypto cards have is that you can access both digital assets and fiat currencies with a single card as the digital assets are converted into your base fiat currency whenever you use the card. Also three out of the four cards on this list offer cashback rewards when you make purchases. Okay so let's get started. So the first card on this list is the Crypto.com Visa card. Crypto.com currently offers five different card tiers all with different reward earnings and user bonuses. And just to note this card is a prepaid Visa card. So straight up one thing that is nice about these cards is that there is no annual fee and no ATM fees. Although the ATM spend limits are quite low. They range from $200 to $1000 per month. And once you reach the spend limit of the particular card you have there is a 2% fee thereafter. Now all of the cards offer a certain cashback reward ranging from 1% to 8% and all rewards are paid in CRO which is Crypto.com's own coin. And once you have accrued CRO tokens you can easily convert them into fiat currency or other crypto. Just be aware that there is an extensive list of exclusions for certain products and services that may affect whether you earn CRO tokens or not. Now to be eligible for cashback rewards each card has a certain amount of money that you must stake for a minimum of six months. This basically means that you will have to lock up your own funds into their CRO tokens for the full time period of six months to receive the full benefits. Now you can take your money out at any point if you need but your rewards will be reduced accordingly. Now the only thing about this is that you need a substantial amount of money to earn the top tier of 8% in rewards. The top tier card which is the Obsidian card requires you to stake $400,000 for a minimum of 6 months to receive the 8% return. But to be fair the entry card which is the Midnight Blue card does not require any staking capital but it only returns 1% in rewards. Let's go over the different cards now and see what you get. First up is the Midnight Blue card and this is their entry level card and the only card that does not require any staking. This card has a limited amount of benefits compared to the others. Basically you will earn 1% in CRO rewards on spending and you will have an ATM limit of $200 in free transactions. After this you will be charged a 2% fee. Also this is the only card that they offer that is made of plastic. All of their other cards are made of metal. The next card that they offer is the Ruby Steel card. This card has a staking requirement of $400 which must be held for 6 months and in return you will receive 2% in CRO rewards on spending. Your ATM withdrawals will be slightly higher than the Midnight Blue card at $500 per month and once you surpass this limit you will be charged 2% for any other withdrawals. One extra benefit that you do get with this card is a reimbursement for each month on your Spotify subscription up to a maximum of $12.99 per month. The next card on this list has two options either the Royal Indigo or the Jade Green card. So both of these cards have a staking requirement of $4,000 for a minimum of 6 months. And for this you will receive 3% in CRO rewards on card spending. Your free monthly ATM withdrawal limit will also be raised to $800 per month and then anything over this will be charged again at 2%. Now with this card you also get a couple of extra benefits than what you get with the previous card. Along with a Spotify credit of up to $12.99 per month you will also receive a Netflix credit of up to $13.99 per month. You will also receive lounge access through Lounge Key. Currently Lounge Key offers access to more than 1000 lounges at over 400 airports. So the next card on this list comes with two different options. The Frosted Rose Gold or the Icy White card. Now for these cards you will need to stake $40,000 for a minimum of 6 months and for this you will receive 5% in CRO rewards on card spending. You will also see your free ATM withdrawal limit increase slightly to $1,000 per month and then anything over this will again incur a 2% fee. Now with this card you will get even more benefits than the previous cards. Along with the Spotify and Netflix monthly reimbursements you will also be allowed to bring a guest with you into any of the Lounge Key Airport lounges free of charge. You will also receive a monthly reimbursement of $12.99 from your Amazon Prime membership. And finally you can receive up to a maximum of $50 per month from Expedia on any qualifying booking. 
And finally, let's look at the top card that is offered by Crypto.com, which is called the Obsidian card. So with this card, you will need to stake a minimum of $400,000 for a minimum of six months. And in return, you can expect to earn up to 8% in CRO rewards on card spending. Free ATM withdrawals are the same as the previous card, which is $1,000 per month, and then a 2% fee for anything over this. You also get all of the same benefits as the previous card, but you get a couple of more benefits on top. First of all, you will receive up to a maximum of $100 a month in reimbursement from Airbnb bookings. And finally, you will receive special perks if you travel on preferred private jet partners of crypto.com. Okay, so the second card on this list is the BlockFi Visa card. Now, although this card is not available just yet, there is a wait list that you can join and it is expected to be releasing very soon. And with this card, you will be able to use it anywhere Visa is accepted, both online and in person. So to begin with, this card has a $200 annual fee, but when you first sign up for this card, you will receive a sign up bonus of $250 worth of Bitcoin after you spend $3,000 within the first three months of having the card. So the sign up bonus not only covers the annual fee for the first year, it also rewards you with $50 worth of Bitcoin. You will also receive an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin for all purchases that are made on the card. The Bitcoin rewards that you do receive are paid out on a monthly cycle straight into your BlockFi account where they will continue to accrue monthly interest. Along with the sign up bonus, you will also receive 3.5% in Bitcoin rewards on all purchases during months four to six of card ownership, up to a maximum of $100 in Bitcoin. And finally, if you successfully refer someone to BlockFi, you will receive an extra $30 in Bitcoin on top of the current $10 in Bitcoin that they already offer for new referrals. So you will earn a total of $40 in Bitcoin for each client referral. Okay, so the third card on this list is the Block Card Visa. Block Card currently offers one card option and a virtual card option. And then a third premium card that will be available later this year. The entry level option is a virtual card, so you don't have a physical card. This option offers a daily spending limit of $5,000. The next card is called the plastic card and it actually has a $10 activation fee. Both of these card options have a monthly administrative fee of $5, which can be waived if you spend more than $750 in non-cash transactions per month. The plastic card has a $3 fee for any domestic ATM withdrawals and a fee of $3.50 for international withdrawals. You will also have access to 14 different cryptocurrencies with the card, with more coins being added throughout the year. Now, Block Card also offers a way to earn cash back. Basically, you will have to stake a certain amount of their cryptocurrency, which is called TERN, T-E-R-N, and depending on how much you stake will affect how much cash back you can receive when you start spending on the card. Also, the amount you stake will be locked in for a minimum of 30 days and will be on a continual renewal each month after that unless you decide to cancel the stake. The lowest rewards option offers 1% cash back if you stake 30,000 TERN coins. And at the time of this video, one TERN coin is 0.01486 cents. So 30,000 coins will cost you approximately $445. You have another five staking options from here that run up to a maximum of 6% in cashback rewards. To be eligible for the 6% return, you will need to stake 145,000 turn coins, which is the equivalent of $2,154 as of today's price. And how all of this works is relatively simple. For example, if you have the maximum amount staked, you will receive 6% in cash back. So if you spend $1,000, you will receive $60 worth of turn. And apparently it is unlimited, so you could potentially earn a fair amount of cash back if you spend a lot of money. The fourth card on this list is the Uphold MasterCard. Now this card is not available yet, but you can join the waitlist to be notified of its release date. So first of all, you can use this card at almost 50 million different merchants and ATMs around the world. But just note that there is a 3% international transaction fee that will be charged to the card. Although you will actually receive a refund each quarter for any foreign exchange fees that are incurred when using the card overseas. Next up, just to receive the card, there is a $9.95 physical card issuance fee, which seems a bit steep. And expect to wait between seven to 10 business days for the card to arrive. Now, if you want to get cash from an ATM, it will cost you $2.50 per transaction within the United States and if you are overseas it'll cost $3.50 per transaction and the daily limit for any ATM withdrawal is $1,500. Thankfully there are no fees to use the card within the United States and there is a daily spending limit of $10,000. As for earning rewards you can expect to earn 2% cash back on all purchases made with crypto and 1% cash back on purchases made with fiat currencies. Just note that this is limited to a maximum of $5,000 spend per month with a maximum amount of $100 cash back payout if you only spend in crypto and a maximum of $50 cash back if you only spend in fiat currencies. So that's my review of the top four crypto cards. 
If you're interested in learning more about any of them, I've left a link in the description below to each card. I've also left a link to my blog post as well. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, please like, share and subscribe.